Hi friends, welcome back. I am Wicked Crafty Mom, also April, and we are going to continue our work on this. I have finished the back of this one that we were working on, and I sewed around the edges except for where the pocket is, and I sewed where the binding is going to be. Now, I told you I wanted to make this smooth and silky, so I am going to do that. I have cornstarch, and I have my Elmer's glue all, and this little spoon came from a party pack at the dollar store. And I have my scraper. So I'm going to put some cornstarch in here just maybe that much that should be good maybe I'll put a little more there we go that's my scooper I'm gonna mix with this because I don't want to get them all now I can take this cover off here the nozzle like that There. Whoops. Now I put the nozzle back on. Put this back on for now. Call it good. And get mixing. I don't even know, like, if there's a ratio that I put in here. I just mix it until it kind of looks right. This is not that yet. I feel like this would make good texture paste like this though okay we'll add more glue and I will probably either leave this in this container and cover it up somehow with plastic wrap or something to try to keep it or I'll put it in a different container so I can try to keep this mixture there that looks gluey but it'll be thick but it'll, it's like runny so that's good so I'm just going to do this side first I'm just going to work it in. So. And then while this dries, I'll work on the pages. And we'll see how far we get on this particular video. I'm trying to get in the cracks, but also not settling in the cracks. I don't want a big lump settled into the cracks. So. It's not much, I mean, it's thicker than glue, obviously. Like straight glue, but. It's not too much thicker. It's not bad. Okay. Now I had glue on this pocket glue dried onto the pocket, which ended up being fine because it flakes right off. That's why I'm going to sew around on this, on the edges, because I want to make sure everything's together, including that pocket. 
and then I'm gonna fold it like I did the other one. I think this will be the last, I don't know if this will be the last video of this though. Whoops, almost went into the coffee. So close, I'm glad I didn't. Let's see. I hope, I don't know, maybe it'll take another, whole nother video. I forgot to set my timer. Okay, five minutes off, that's not bad. I do this every day though, or yesterday I did it three times, I should know. Whoops, almost back into the coffee. Maybe we move the glue over here so I don't get it confused with my coffee, cause duh. I think I keep thinking about being thirsty and that's why I keep going towards my coffee. I'm gonna have to take a drink in a minute. Now when I did this, I did it on paper, like regular paper, copy, pa copier type paper. So I don't know exactly how it's going to feel on this, but I believe with enough coats, it'll be fine. Do, do, do. phone calls for my to-do list basically some things on my agenda today some phone calls to make which they are the type of phone calls that usually end up being kind of a pain in the butt but we'll see how it goes Now I could probably heat dry this with my heat gun, but I don't really want to heat up the glue. I kind of just want it to done with that EMP series. It was only three books in the series, which was fine. It ended the way it was going to end. There was nothing, like, I mean, there was maybe a surprise or two, but kind of it, land it landed right where it was heading, which was fine wasn't outstanding but it wasn't bad so now I'm back to zombies this one's just called virus so I'm not sure how I mean so far so good but not very far into that one yet. I just found it. So, well, it had been showing up in my feed, but I just decided why not. This one's set in England. to figure out they were in England. <laughs> okay. My hand is starting to cramp up from this. All right. There's that. I'm getting the edge here because it looks like I did not. All right. So I'm going to let it dry, 
seems to be drying actually relatively quickly. So now I'm going to take this one and we're going to, yeah, I'm five minutes in. I have no idea what I'm going to do next. All right. We're going to work on this. This is what we're going to do. And then we've got pages to work on getting ready and sewing to do when that's dry. Well, gluing again on the inside and then sewing. And then putting papers in. Yeah, so we've got, I mean, I think we've got enough stuff to do. Get the papers sorted. I've got the papers folded in half for the other one, for the other um, envelope notebook, but I do not have them set up for this one. This They just need to be folded in half and, I don't know, kind of planned out. We'll go from there. I think. I think. I think. Do, 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 do. Yep, yep. That sounds good. I'm just trying to make sure I get the edges because I wasn't getting the edges. I didn't get them very well on the other one. I have to go back and do it again. All right. This is kind of like a paintbrush, but kind of like a, sp not a spatula. Spatula. It's kind of like a paintbrush, kind of like a paint scraper. Kind of like a paintbrush, kind of like a paint scraper. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Okay. There's part done. And this is going to be set to dry as well. Make sure all the edges are got. I'm really digging using this as a background because it looks like it's going to wipe up very nicely. I haven't wiped it up yet, but... I don't know how it looks on screen. I should probably check that out. I always forget though. So my to-do list today involves more dealing with people than I want to, but um, it'll be good. I'm hoping to get another big batch of videos done today, but we'll see because this I think is going to actually take more of a video, one more video than I thought. In which case, before it premieres, I'll just change the title to one out of five or two out of five, yada, yada. If this is a five series, five video series in the end, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay. There's that. Okay. And let's see. One of my kiddos is going to be at school. He gets to school around 7 and he's not going to be home until 9 o'clock tonight. Which is fine. I know that happens with lots of people, but that's a long day for him. It's a very long day. So we'll see how that goes. He was not looking forward to it. Let's put it that way. He's in the he's doing tech stuff for the play. And the play is this week, I believe. This weekend. So he's doing tech stuff for that, which is awesome, but they're just, he's not feeling like they're as successful with it as he wants to be and getting as far with getting repairs done before the show as he would like to be. So 
That's all I got. So he's stressing out because he's going to be there for so long. And because things are not working out the way he has them planned. Oh yeah, this was definitely the right amount of... Look, it's almost perfect. So if I do that again, I can get the insides when I am done. So I got to remember how much I used. Like one and a half, I think, spoonfuls maybe. I could always rewind the tape. Okay. Getting there. Just about done with this. Do do do. All right. That is nice. Okay. Now, since I've got this extra little bit of glue and it makes such a nice texture, I don't want to waste it. Let's use it on, I'm just going to put it on book page. Do, do, do. Um, not that one. I'll do it on this one. Gotta find my, oh, there's my open one. Okay. That. This will not go to waste. It shall not. I just think it's nice, a very nice, pleasant feeling to touch the, touch this after it's dried, the nice softness. So I figure since texture's fun and I use book page for lots of things, I should just paint a book page, make it nice and smooth. And it's a little pink from the sides, oops, of the cup, but I'm not super duper worried about it. And that's the last, woo, there's a big batch of pink. That'll, that'll look nice. Yep. If you go slow enough, you can kind of just pick it up and smear it. If you go fast, it's like the um, like it's like water. When you put water in cornstarch and then you touch it really fast, it feels hard. But if you touch it really slow, it gets slimy. I think it's the same principle. Okay, we're done gluing for right now. I know. I would love to continue gluing too, but. just cannot. Okay. These are all pages that I have folded in various ways to make sure that there's some variety and some interest and stuff. So I've got some that are folded like an accordion. So there's a, this could be a pocket. This could also be a pocket. So I'm going to start putting this together. I've got these three piles of paper. Oh, you know what? Nope, I lied. I'm not. Hold on. Hold on. Calm your horses, friend. That was me. I'm the friend. Okay. Let's... Because this is... All right, this is folded just in half. Okay, this is folded just in half. This is folded like this, and then this will fold out. So I'm gonna probably put the binding there. That's all set. Same thing here, except I'm gonna put this binding, and then this. 
Now this I left because I wanted just a small piece. And this was extra. So there's that. That's kind of ready. Now, I am going to grab an envelope, like a regular sized envelope. Because that's what I'm using, right? So I want to make sure that, yep, that'll fit in. Okay. So. Will this fit in? It will. I could cut it down a little bit, but I don't really see a need to. That'll fit. That'll fit. And that'll fit. This will not fit. So. There. Okay. Now, height-wise, will these fit? Yes. Come on. Come on. Stop messing around. Except for this one. Hold on. There we go. I'm just, yep, yeah, and that will fit. Okay. Height wise, they fit. Those are good. These do not fit. So, I am just going to. I'm going to have to cut the ends because it doesn't like to rip. So I'm going to have to straighten it up. Which is fine. It ripped some. There. Alright, so that one's ready. I'll just cut it. Alright, so this I'm just gonna cut. Oh no, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna rip it. And then I'm going to cut it down some. Let's see. Just like that. There. Okay. Same thing on this one. Gonna rip the edge where I've lined it up because I didn't want those holes in it. And then. My ruler. Okay. There's that. Now this will fit size what or height wise. I'm gonna cut it off. There. So I'm gonna have lots of nice empty scraps, which is cool. That is just about perfect. So that's good. That fits. Too tall. Way too tall. There we go. And again, I did these planning on cutting the edges off. Okay. 
close, but looks good. And all right. So now that I've got that figured out, there's 20 pages in here. You go back with the envelopes. Okay. Now these will all fit in the thing. So now I've got three piles. I've got these, these, and these. Okay. And I do one from each pile. So there's that. Where are we going to put this? We're going to put it like that. And then this one. And I left these on just because I thought it was fun. And this. I'm just going in order. Okay. Down the line. Okay. Do I want... Yep. Yeah. Wait. Maybe? Yes. Okay. Like that. Nope, back over this way. So, yep, just kind of plotting how these are going to be oriented. I'm just going to go back and forth. Well, maybe I will. I'm going to put one of these here. I'm just going to stick some of these in because I don't want the same stuff in the same place, you know? Kind of just doing this arbitrarily. And then here. Okay. There's all that. There. It is organized the way I would like it. Now, now I need to clip it. All right. Wrong way. There we go. And the other side. Okay, so these pages done. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing. And if I need to, I can still trim these down. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this. So this is another batch of pages for the other journal. Okay. I'm going to make sure there's 20 
because there should be. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 2021. So I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use these. I don't know why. Maybe I was going to use that for a journal cover. I'm not sure. All right. So first things first again. This is how I start doing this. Let's see. Fold this. And then I'm going to fold back a little bit on this side and then back a little bit on this side and that's going to be my first one. Alright, and then this, that worked really well when I just cut up the, or tore up the things and then took the top off. That should work. Okay. Now, that one means, why don't I just do this now? I'll do my tearing now. Okay, there's that. Let's see. Okay. I know that's short enough. Okay, so I'll just do there. All right. Now for these ones, I just like to fold them opposite sides. And then let's fold whoop, like that. Oh, whoops, I forgot to, I got lost in my head a little bit, that happens. Okay, like that, and then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to fold it outward, like that. This one was tearing off, so I'm not even going to bother trying to make it work with the page. I'm just going to tear it off. I'll just tear this one off too, because why not? There's that. There, and you can fold it in there. Uh, different lengths too. Do like this, and then like this. And then like this. And then when you put it in, put it in like that, and it'll fold out. Although maybe you should make sure that you Hold it a little back from the from the binding there. Let's try it again this way. Make sure that it's not gonna overdo over jump the binding. It's gotta have room to flip. Okay. 
And you know what? I forgot to put these things down again. Do, 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 do. Okay. Just that. And one more. There. That's better. Okay. Do that part first. Those ones folded out, so I'm going to fold these ones in, oops, <coughs> excuse me, like that. This is cabbage dyed paper, which I need to do again. I actually need to dye a ton of paper of different colors. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do because that is a pretty big difference there. I should probably do this on the other side too. For now, I'm good. Okay. Now. I just gotta cut it. This one I gotta cut because of the plastic on the... Excuse me. For just a second. Okay. You can also do like this. Which I haven't done yet. Now I have. Okay. There's a pocket there. A pocket there. And a pocket there. And let's go... This one, like I did before. And then, make sure it's short enough. second I get a cough again okay I think I'm good we shall see bit more, a few more, and then I'm ready to go. <coughs> this one I'm just going to rip off there. I got a like really bad tickle in my throat. Won't go away. 
All right, fold these down, fold this down, fold it. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. Just like that. I'm just going to tear there. We have lots of pockets. And whoops. And flips. I'll leave those two on. So I think we're all right for that. I'm going to do this one. that and that Oop. this is just regular book page that I just grabbed because I was grabbing handfuls of stuff okay so let's do this and this, because why not? Now I've got a pocket here and a pocket here, and then if I wanted to glue them together, a pocket here. Okay, these ones are all set. Okay, so I'm going to just grab these and these, and we'll go, okay, one, two, Perfect. And then put that like that. Let's see, because I'm figuring out where the middles are here. And I think I maybe made this too thick. That's possible. I guess we'll find out. like we are definitely running out of those. Okay. And that. Stay. Alright. Do that. And this time and this there we go a couple more that way and last one that way okay so these are the way that I want them to also as well and putting my
There we go. So I've got two signatures ready to go. For these books. Now, rut row. There's still some drying to do on both of them. But they are smooth and shiny. That's awesome. So I still have to let this dry and then I've got to put the same coating on the other side. Um, so I think I'm going to end this video here. And then I'm going to put the coating on the other sides when they're dry. And then I'm going to sew around the edges. And those are all things that I don't need to do on camera. And in fact, I usually if I sew on camera, like the camera's here and I sew over there. So, um, this is so smooth. I love it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to end here. When these dry, I'm going to flip them over, put the coating inside with the cornstarch. Same thing here. Sew around the edge of this. So the binding, like where I'm going to be. And then we'll go from there. And then I'll end up putting the binding or the pages in next video. So that's what I'm going to do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you on the next video. Bye.